Hello guys. Um, in this video, we want to start looking at how you solve quadratic equations. All right, equations of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Now there are two ways of doing this. Um, if you multiply your c term by the coefficient of x squared, you have ac. If you can find factors of this, that will add up to give you b. Then the quadratic equation is factorizable. Then it's uh, it's easy to solve. Okay. For example, suppose that you have um, let's say four x squared. All right, minus four x minus three is equal to zero. <coughs> if you multiply negative three by four, you have negative twelve. You look for factors of negative twelve. That will add up to give you negative four. Of course, we can use uh, 6 and 2. Negative 6 times that gives you negative 12. Negative 6 plus 2 gives you negative 4. Okay? So, you can rewrite this as 4x squared minus 6x, right, plus 2x, I'm using these guys now, minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay? Then, you group them, factorize this, and then that. 2 is common here, so let me go here. So I can pull 2x, 2x is common, so you can pull 2x out, and then you have 2x here. 2 goes out here, and x goes, you have 3 remaining, so minus 3. And then this side, you just have 1, multiplying, right? 2x minus 3 equals 0. You don't necessarily have to bring that one. Right? Okay, so this means we can rewrite this as see 2x, 2x minus 3 is common. Can you see that? So you can factorize that out and you are left with 2x plus 1 here that is equal to 0. Alright? You multiply two things, it's equal to 0. Either this is 0 or that is equal to 0. Okay, so from here you would have 2x minus 3 is 0 or 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. This means that from here, x will be equal to 3 over 2, or from here, x will be equal to, you get a negative 1 over 2. Okay? So these are solutions. x is 3 over 2, or x is negative 1 over 2. So, if the quadratic equation is factorizable, say that when you multiply this by this, c and a, if you can find factors of this that will add up to give you this, then it's easier to solve. But there's a more general, general approach, right? There's a formula that we can develop. From our previous uh, video, um, we're able to uh, use completing the square to write a quadratic function. Remember, we had our quadratic function f of x to be equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay? Now, if f of x is 0, then what you have is your quadratic equation. Right? But we factorize this. Remember, when we factorize this, we have a into x plus b over 2a minus b squared minus 4ac all over 4a. Alright? When we factorize this, you see completing the square in the previous um, video, this is what we got. Okay? Now, to solve the quadratic equation, we equate this to zero and try to solve for x. That is all we do, right? So, f of x can be written as this. So, if we let f of x to be equal to zero, that is, we have a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is zero, right? So yes, if this is equal to zero. When this is equal to zero, what do you get? Try to solve for x here. Okay? So what we get is that we're going to have a into x plus b over 2a. I'm taking this to that side of the equation. I'm going to have b squared minus 4ac all over 4a. Okay? If f of x is zero, I just equate this guy called 0, and I'm going to try to solve for x. Okay, to get x, I can divide through by a. 
So let's go here. We're going to have x then plus b over 2a will be equal to, when I divide 2 by a, I'm going to have b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Uh, sorry, this is uh, squared here. Yes, this is also squared. So this is squared. All right, from our previous factorization. Okay, good. So now, to solve for x, we take the square roots of both sides. All right? So when we do that, we're going to have x plus b over 2a to be equal to, we are taking the square root, so this will be plus or minus, it will be the square root of the top, b squared minus 4ac, all over, the square root of this will give us 2a. We are solving for x, so we can bring b over 2a to this side, and so that gives us x to be equal to negative b over 2a, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac all over 2a. See, 2a is common, which means that we finally get our quadratic equation plus or minus the square root of our quadratic formula, I should say. Okay? Square roots all over 2a. In other words, to solve the quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, the values of x are given by this expression here. And you can use it whether you can factorize it as we showed in the first example or not. This works for uh, all quadratic equations in general. All right? So for example, we can use it to, um, to solve the first equation that we, we saw, right? Which we saw that we could factorize it and solve for the values of x. Um, so the equation was for x squared minus 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. So in this case, a is equal to this 4, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to negative 3. All you do is plug them into this expression, and then you have x to be equal to negative b would be negative 4, that's 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared would be negative 4 squared, that is 16, minus 4, a is 4, c is negative 3. All of this over 2a, a is 4. Alright? So this gives us 4 plus or minus the square root of 16, say minus minus, that becomes plus 16 times 3, that's 48. All over 2 times 4 is 8. Okay? So let's come here. So now we have, we're going to have x, values of x should be 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus uh, 48 will give you 16. Four all over eight. This is equal to four plus or minus the square root of sixty-four is eight, right? All over all of this over eight. Okay, good. So now we can simplify this further, right? So this should give us one over two. That is four over eight plus or minus 8 over 8 is 1. Okay, so x is either 1 half plus 1, which is 3 over 2, or x is 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 over 2. So x is either equal to 3 over 2, or x is equal to negative 1 over 2, which is what we got when we just use a simple approach of factorizing it, right? Multiplying this by this and finding the factors. Okay, so if it's not factorizable, you can still, you can still use um, this formula, right? To find the roots of the equation. 
So, for example, if you have um, an equation, let's take x squared minus 6x plus 7 to be equal to 0. Here, a is 1, b is negative 6, x, c is 7, right? So, our formula for the solution is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, right? So you just plug these guys in here. So x will be negative b will be 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared will be 6 squared, that is 36 minus 4 times a, a is 1, times c, c is 7, all over 2, times a, a is 1. So this gives us 6 plus or minus the square root of, that is 6 minus, this and this is 28, all over 2, right? And then we know that 36 minus 28 is 8. So this is 6 plus or minus the square root of 8 over 2. This is 6 plus or minus 8 is 4 times 2. So this is 2 root 2 all over 2. Which we can simplify further as 2 goes into 6, 3 plus or minus. These two cancels as 2 and just have negative 2. So the values of x are 3 plus root 2 or x is equal to 3 minus the square root of 2. Okay? So here you notice that this cannot be factorized, right? If you multiply 7 and 1, you're going to get 7. But you can't find factors of 7 that will add up to give you negative 6. So you can't factorize it. So you have to use this approach, this formula, to find the values of x. So you see that you get the irrational numbers, root 2, root 2 appearing. Okay? So that is how you solve quadratic uh, equations. Next, we we'll look at the nature of the roots okay, of a quadratic equation and what we did previously, completing the square will come in handy to help uh, in that. Okay.